Right guys, that video you just saw um, was a prototype post puller that I made. Um, I actually made it a week or two ago. Um, so I took that post out with it just as a test. Um, and there was a couple of things I needed to modify. So I have since modified it um, and I'm going to test it again. But this time I'll film it um, just to see, see how things go. But it's basically a tripod with a winch on the top. I actually saw the idea on YouTube uh, from another guy. Uh, it was lifting concrete some sort of winch mechanism so so my engineering background I thought I would come up with something similar it's just a prototype it's a bit rough and ready but I really want to test it just to see you know if it will pull the post now it's kind of designed um, just for a wooden post at the moment so either a new wooden post that need pulled out um, even metal posts I suppose with a chain uh, rotten fence posts especially uh, I've, I've made a special adapter which we'll go through later in the video which can be used to attach the rotten posts and pull them out. Uh, the met post spikes, um, again, I've made another adapter that you can fit to the winch to pull those out easily. Uh, so it's all about being having a portable tool that you can carry to those sort of jobs. You know, assemble a tripod, you know, quickly. Attach the, you know, the hook to whatever you want to pull out and just turn the handle and it should just crank out. Even shrubs, you know, I think it would be good for shrubs, small trees, anything you need to pull uh, upwards. Now for this job, normally I would use a farm jack. Um, I'll stick a little video in here because I made one for my Facebook page of how I would normally jack a post out. So I'll stick that here for the minute. It's just a 30 second clip or something. I'll put that there now. Hopefully you saw that video, that's normally how I would jack a post out if I needed to um, use the farm jack. The problem with farm jacks is they sit at such an angle, you're pulling out at an angle and it can, can cause problems, you know, slipping, things like that. So the design of the winch that I wanted to make was more of an upward force as opposed to, you know, an angle force. So a direct upward pull um, is what we'll be in for here. So we'll take it outside and see how we got on. Okay, thanks. Right guys, so here's the mock-up. Um, I put this in last night. So it's a four by four post. It's two feet deep roughly. And there's nearly two bags of postcrete. So nearly 40 kilograms of, of concrete around the post. Um, I've just tried to replicate, you know, what would what would happen in, you know, in the real world. Obviously this would be a, a full post, but you, you need to cut it. Put a little adapter on that I've made. Um, that's just screwed on with some coach bolts and now that's ready for the tripod to go over, hook on, hopefully be able to wind it up and, and take it out of the ground so we'll see what happens. Okay so that's the contraption laid over the post ready to pull it. There's basically a strap comes through the centre of the tripod, hooks on to my adapter there Right, so I've just placed some off cuts of wood uh, below the legs just to stop it sinking. Um, this is basically just a trial just to see if this actual contraption will lift this out. Um, there's a lot of modifications I was made to this just to refine the design. But basically that's a tripod right over the top. I was just looking down onto the, the post. So what I'll do, I'll get a tripod, I'll get the camera here focused on this. Um, I'll start winching and we can just see what happens. I'll keep the camera focused on this area here. Hopefully you'll see the, the plug pull right out of the ground. Hopefully. Right, so I'm going to start winching now, so just keep an eye on this area here, see what happens. I'll just go over and start winching.
Okay, so first attempt, um, I've been turning the winch and it's getting really, really tight um, to the point where it could be dangerous. Um, I'm just a bit wary, you know, I've putting so much strain on the winch and something goes in the winch, you know, I could injure myself. So what I'm trying to do is just, I'm, I'm going to get a digging bar, dig around the, the concrete, just try and loosen it off a little bit and then try and winch it out. Once it, once it breaks the surface, it should be okay. I think it's a lot of suction in there. Um, it's the same when using a farm jack. The first two inches is always the worst, you know. It, it, you tend to find it pops or cracks the post and then it'll come no problem. But to be honest, this winch is struggling a bit um, just to get this past the first inch or so. So I'm just giving it a helping hand just to see. Right guys, failed miserably. I've just been putting so much pressure on that winch. Um, it just does not want to come. I think it's suction more than anything else that's keeping that in. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'll hook up the farm jack and do it the standard way that I would normally do it. Um, and see. Right, so sometimes the old methods are the best. So I've got the farm jack set up. Uh, a couple of 4 by 2s Just see the setup there. All these do is stop it falling forward. Um, and hopefully we'll get the jack in action and pull this post out. I'm a bit disappointed the winch didn't work, um, but I'm pretty sure this jack's in a struggle as well because I think there's a lot of suction there. But we'll see, we'll set it up and I'll film this and then see what happens. Right, you can see how well that post's in because that screws, that coach bolts are just getting ripped right out. Uh, of the post. Right, I've just put a couple of huge lag bolts through that. I've only put two in because it's new wood, so that, that should be enough. And we'll start jacking. That's just moved now, so I think it's starting to break the suction. I tell you, that is well in. <laughs> That's it coming now, so... Right, I'm going to disconnect that and then I'm going to put the tripod back on just to see... I'm trying to lift that up. See if it would struggle weaving that. I do think it was a suction that was holding that. Right, I've got the winch hooked back on. Um, I think the original video I watched from the guy in Poland, I think his cement was just, or the concrete had already been dug out around the sides. I'll have to watch it again. So basically all he was doing was lifting the concrete out of the hole, you know, to stop breaking it. So let's see if that works uh, with us now. I mean, I'm doing that and that is absolutely effortless, so... Right, I've just lifted that up and that was absolutely effortless. Um, so it just goes to show, not everything on YouTube <laughs> uh, sort of works, but, but you can see the concrete on there. I mean, that's 40 kilograms of concrete, a good two feet deep. It looks deeper than that, actually. Um, and that winch is taken up, no problem, once it's loosened off. Uh, you saw the farm jack, I re kind of struggled to begin with until we put the huge lag bolts in and then it sort of, once it breaks the seal, then it's very easy to come up. So, that's that. Sorry, I've just taken you guys on the journey with me, you know, just doing experiments. Maybe I should have done all this before I, before I started filming, but it basically shows you what we've been trying to achieve. Um, but I think this could still be useful for, I'd like to try it with met posts and especially like small hedges, you know, if you're cutting hedges, just to pull it out. I think this would manage no problem whatsoever. Because I mean, lifting that concrete when it's when there's no suction, it's effortless. You know, you could do it with one finger, basically. So it's just the initial, it's the initial break in the surface uh, is the issue. So back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. But I think in summary, the winch is never going to be strong enough to break this, the actual surface. 
So what I'll do in the future, I'll keep this. I'm going to get some met posts installed. Um, I'll hammer them in and just see what this is like to lift those out. Um, I'll try some rotten fence posts as well, because normally they just slip out of the concrete, which makes it easier to break the concrete. And I'll also try some hedging and shrubs uh, with a winch. Hopefully that'll work. But with four by four fence posts, or anything bigger, I don't think I don't think it would be up to it. Um, just just for breaking the surface. So for that, stick to the farm jack. Well, guys, that was a bit of a disaster. Um, I was sure that would work because um, the original prototype that I done at the start of the video um, that worked no problem. Um, but I think the earth on that one was maybe a bit looser and there was less concrete on the the post. I'm not sure, but it did it did work okay. Um, I'm sure the, the suction on that one there, you know, the soil was quite wet and clay, you know, just produced a lot of suctions, which made the winch struggle. Uh, but I was trying to turn the winch there and honestly I was going red in the face and if something went, you know, you'd bloody kill yourself, you know, so I just thought I would halt it there. But anyway, tried it out after watching a video on YouTube. Um, the original guy that made that video, it was obviously just for taking concrete out of holes. <laughs> Not removing like posts, you know, we are dealing with suction and whatever. Uh, so at least we tried. Um, but I will, I'll, I'll film some videos going forward where using that same same sort of setup uh, with met posts or hedging, you know, things like that. See if it works. Uh, but for the moment, we've got to stick with a farm jack, I'm afraid. Uh, Anyway guys, if you, th if you found a video of any interest whatsoever, um, I know the result wasn't what we hoped for, uh, but I just thought I would continue filming anyway. Uh, just There's no point setting things up to make it look good on camera when it doesn't work, you know, so take it from me, that doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if, you, um, if you'd be so kind, that would be great. Um, the channel's all about specifically fencing now, you know, and following the, the journey of my fencing business now. Plus a few property related things good forward. As always guys, take it easy, thank you.